Salve lindo, estou aqui dentro do Running Event, cara. Você sabe, esse evento é um evento que acontece anualmente aqui em Austin, no Texas. E o objetivo aqui é reunir os grandes players né, do mercado de tênis, do mercado de corrida, né? Não só tênis, mas todos os acessórios, tudo que é de corrida, para exibir aqui as novidades que vão chegar nas lojas no ano que vem. E muito bem, hoje eu vou te mostrar todas as novidades do que vai chegar nas lojas da ASICS. Foi a ASICS que me trouxe aqui. Eu participei de um ciclo de entrevistas ontem com muitos diretores, engenheiros de produto responsáveis pelos principais tênis da marca. E você vai saber então quais são os prognósticos, o que espera a marca japonesa para o ano de 2023. Inclusive, tem um tênis misterioso, cara. Eu não posso falar qual é, eu já sei qual é, mas ele é misterioso. Mas ele é uma grande, mas uma grande modificação em relação ao seu modelo anterior. Então não sai daí, está começando mais um programa Fôlego. Hoje a gente vai saber tudo sobre a ASICS em 2023, aqui no Running Event. Muito bem, cara, salão lotado, hein? Já estou no futuro. Bom, o convite para participar do Running Event foi um convite feito para mim pela ASICS, tá? Eu estou aqui é, é, devidamente paramentado. E... O mais legal, né? Eles mandaram lá na minha casa, antes de eu chegar aqui, esse tênis está no meu pé. O que eu não posso falar que tênis é, tá? Mas é um lançamento de 2023 e é um tênis incrível, incrível. Só que eu não posso falar, porque eu assinei um contrato com eles, que eu não posso falar que tênis é esse até que ele seja devidamente é, lançado. Então, estou aqui calçando o Mystery Shoe, tá? É o tênis misterioso. E você vai ver o Mystery Shoe em várias, é, em, vários, em várias plataformas, você vai ver ele em vários mostradores, porque é o grande lançamento do primeiro semestre de 2023 da ASICS. E a gente vai falar com alguns gerentes de produto, vou falar com desenvolvedores, pessoas que são conectadas com os grandes lançamentos da marca para 2023. Se liga! Bom, quando eu estive na, na Expo da Maratona de Nova York, agora em novembro, é, a que estava lançando oficialmente o Super Blast, que é esse cara aqui. Que na verdade é um, é um Nova Blast é, on steroids, é um Nova Blast com, com mais material, com mais entressola, com mais amortecimento. Só que cara, 235 gramas. Bom, eu conversei com o cara que desenvolveu o Super Blast, ele me contou quais são as diferenças que são mais marcantes entre os dois modelos e também para que tipo de público o Super Blast é, se, se designa, né, se encaminha. Vamos ver como foi essa conversa. Muito bem, pessoal, esse aqui é o Chris Ekman, ele é Senior Manager Performance Footwear. É, é o cara que manja dos calçados de alta performance. Então a gente está falando dos calçados da primeira linha, Meta Speed Sky, a gente está falando do, do Magic Speed e a gente está falando também do Super Blast, que é esse que está aqui atrás e eu vou conversar com ele sobre esses lançamentos que chegam no mercado no ano que vem. Chris, uh, what to expect uh, for the Super Blast? This is, you know, I have this YouTube channel and I elected like three years in a home, the Nova Blast, the best yeah. shoe of the year. Yeah. And the Super Blast is like, it's been super expected. People are really uh, waiting to, to get to know this shoe. Where, what they should wait to, to run? Well, I think um, a lot of it started with what you just mentioned, mm -hmm. which was the Nova Blast. Yeah. Uh, which is a shoe that's, that's just been a real pleasant surprise in terms of the cushioning, the experience. But then you bring in what we're doing with Metaspeed, yeah. and we've got this amazing foam, and we thought, well, what if you could kind of put something together with that mm -hmm. and create a super blast experience? Mm -hmm. So what we did is we took all that flight foam turbo and put a really high stack of it so you could get that experience of a, of a Metaspeed, mm -hmm. But then we brought in also the foam that you see in the Nova Blast, the Blast Plus, and it's underneath. So it's kind of a merger of those two. So there's a tremendous amount of cushioning underneath the foot. And then even looking at the outsole, you start to see some of those things that make the Nova Blast so enjoyable to run in, like that trampoline experience. Yeah. We're a little bit of a wider base net. So for a super shoe with this much stack, it's actually pretty stable. 
And I think probably the thing that I'm the most excited about as a runner is that it comes in at about 235 to 240 grams. Super light. It's super light. It's super cushed. And then, you know, we didn't we didn't stop with just what's underfoot. We also looked at what's on top of the foot. And we used a really simple engineered mesh where there's there's nothing rubbing into the foot. But probably my favorite aspect of the shoe is the top. So it's like a neoprene, it's like a neoprene material that's just padded enough, and then it's gusseted so it stays in place. Mm -hmm. So top to bottom, it's just a really nice experience. We thank you very much. Good luck on the on the on this year. Hope it's going to be a magical year for Asics because the. The shoes are amazing and congrats. Yeah, thanks for your time. Muito bem, gente. Essa aqui do meu lado é a Laura Bogen. Ela trabalha como manager global né, de produtos de alta performance e ela é responsável pelo grande lançamento que é o Mystery Shoe. I'm saying, I'm, I'm telling them that you are responsible for the Mystery Shoe. The mystery yeah. shoe yes. I, I cannot tell them which shoe is this. Okay, I'll yeah. call the name out. Yeah, no names. <laughs> But uh, I can tell them that it's a legend. And it's it's a, it's a shoe that's been around for a while, yes. and and uh, the thing is, it changed a lot. And the first question that I have for you is, how did you how did you manage to do these updates in Legend? When we're talking about the Japanese, Japanese are really hard to to accept these updates. The, the Legends they change they change little by little. They, they don't change a lot in one time. And I think you have a big change now. Yes. How was it? How was this process? Um, the process was difficult, but definitely um, convincing along the way. So we really focused one, this is a big anniversary for this shoe, so we wanted to make sure we really um, had a new point of view um, from design, materials, and all that. But when it came to actually constructing the shoe and how it looks very different than previous versions, we focused on the consumer voice. So we, from start to finish, the consumer voice really guided the entire process. So from construction to how the midsole's put together, to how the outsole works with the midsole to create a smooth ride, to how we played with gel in the shoe, to the upper, the sensation of putting on the shoe is very different, and it was completely voted for um, and a push for by our testers. And we tested this much more extensively than we typically would because we wanted to make sure with a big change we got it right. All right. In this mystery shoe to get to the stores. In February. Worldwide. In February. It's going to be a worldwide. It's not, it's not only on the US. Worldwide launch February so everyone can você já deve estar imaginando qual é, mas eu não vou te falar, tá? Você fica aí e faz as suas conjecturas. They, they can imagine, but they I won't tell. So we, we have to wait until February. Vamos esperar até fevereiro. Laura, thank you very much. Congrats on the, the big change. Yes, I and can't it, wait to hear what. And the no, shoe is amazing. I ran with, with it yesterday. I'm gonna run tomorrow the the race, the 5K. It's, it's amazing. It's super soft and uh, it's it's a big it's a big breakthrough and uh, I think it's success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Viu? Fica sabendo, cara. Aqui você fica sabendo, mas não posso falar não. Muito bem. E você já adivinhou qual é o mystery shoe? Mas eu vou te falar um negócio, cara. Ele é muito, mas muito, mas muito diferente do seu modelo anterior. Mystery Shoe. Delícia correr com ele, viu? Muito bem, cara. Agora eu vou falar com o cara, o Chad Malenvi, que é o cara que tá aqui do meu lado. Ele é simplesmente o responsável pelo Nova Blast, que é esse tênis que tá aqui. E eu já contei pra ele que a gente elegeu o tênis três anos consecutivos, né? No top 10 e os dois últimos anos o melhor tênis sem placa. So I, I, I do this thing that it's, it's like uh, the 10 best shoes of the year. But I do it, I do it differently. The, the 10 best shoes with a carbon plate okay. and the 10 best shoes with no plate at all. Okay. And the last two years, Nova Blast was number one with no plate. Awesome. Okay. Because when you think about this shoe, it's amazing because it's like a, an only son 
in 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 the universe of running. You don't see in other brands uh, a shoe that you, you can put you, you put it on your feet and you say, oh, this looks like Nova Blast. Nothing looks like Nova Blast. It's yeah. totally different. Yep. So, how was the process to to create this shoe? And also, the most important for me because it's so different. The sec the third version. Uh, from the second, it's, it's totally different for me. Yeah. The the foam is different, the stability is different. So I want to know about the process of creating this shoe. Yeah. So working on version two to version three, it was uh, it was really exciting. I think it was something where the myself, the designer, developer, we really set out to how do we make this shoe, you know, unexpected, exciting, and ideally better in every respect with you know innovative materials, innovative design, and just an underfoot that really makes you just you know think like, my goodness, I. I'm, I just, I just want to run in this shoe. Um, when I think about the shoe and, and what we have, it, it's, it's honestly the most versatile shoe in, in our lineup. Where you can race in it, if you know it, if you'd like. It's a great tempo shoe. It's a great recovery shoe, even. Um, but a couple of things we set out to do from version two was, uh, primarily, was how do we deliver on a, a really innovative upper? So we. We looked at uh, some great materials here. We have this uh, jacquard mesh that actually the branding is integrated into it. It gives us just this really nice dynamic feel um, on the upper. We have kind of a, a lightweight TPU heel stabilizer here. And then this, uh, this tongue that's actually inspired by a, a football or soccer uh, boot that actually has a, a, a notch or cutout to really help with the tongue just fitting the foot perfectly. Um, and so every detail was obsessed over. Uh, I'm really proud of this shoe. I think it was something where the, the underfoot, we actually widened out the gauge, and so it's a little bit more inherently stable. We have a, one of our top of line foams here, Flight Foam Blast Plus. So it's really, you know, it's lightweight, it's energetic, it's just a, a, a real joy to run in. We have the, um, you know, really that trademark trampoline uh, outsole pod in the forefoot here. So it really retains a lot of that pop or kind of dynamic feel underfoot. Um, the shoe is nearly an ounce lighter from version two, which I think in and of itself is, a, is really kind of a, something quite impressive. Um, and we're, we're really seeing a lot of great feedback in terms of a lot of people who've tried the shoe early on were, you know, rating it their, their shoe of the year. And um, I think personally, having run in various prototypes, it was something where I was excited about it, but just to see the response afterwards has been really validating to, you know, what the team worked on to, to really move this product forward. É isso, velho. Aqui você fica sabendo antes, certo? Fica ligado, fica ligado. Vamos dar uma rodada. Beleza, curtiu? Muito bem, então olha, na semana que vem eu vou te mostrar um material extremamente completo com todos os lançamentos de todas as marcas que estão aqui no Running Event, tá? Então fique atento, semana que vem, tudo sobre os lançamentos para 2023 que rolaram aqui em Austin no Running Event. A gente se vê lá. Um abraço pra você, até lá. Tchau.